Hi hey guys, what is up? Welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. And today's video is going to be the ultimate book video. We have a lot of fun bookish thing planned for the next few days. This video is going to be a reading vlog. It's going to be a bookstore vlog. And a bookstore vlog also means a book haul. I have some book mail. You see that little, where is it? That little yellow thing. That is an international book mail. So I have like few books to show you which the publishers from the UK have sent me. It's going to be amazing. So right now I'm getting ready to go to the bookstore. I'm gonna apply a fuck ton of sunscreen because it is hot outside and it is very sunny and I don't wanna burn myself. So, so yeah, stay tuned for the vlog. We have amazing things planned. Uh, for my current read, I'll quickly show you guys before getting ready. April has been such a bad month of reading for me. It is... It is 25th April right now and so far I've only read three books. First three weeks of April, I managed to read only two books because I like had to pull myself through them because I was just not in reading mood. And after I finished the second book, I was like, Ritwik, you know what? If you are in a reading slump, let it be. Like don't read anything for an entire week and let the reading slump get out of it. So I did that and now the reading slump is out of it. I even finished a book after my reading slump finished but right now i am currently reading tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow by gabriel zevin this is the fourth time that i've started to read this book and in three different videos like in my last vlog i said i was going to read this but i did not and i've started this i've started two more videos before over the last month but i ended up scrapping them because i was just not liking the way everything was going my goal is to finish this today or by tomorrow in the next two days and i'm very 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 excited i finally broke like the 50 page mark of the book and so i am interested in the characters i'm not like attached to the characters it's flowing very easy it is flowing very naturally i'm not thinking too much about the writing so that's always a good thing if you guys don't know what this book is about this book is about two kids sadie and sam this book just follows them through their life through their success through their like fame and stuff like that both of them are video game developers and it's like a story about love and like it's supposed to be very emotional it's supposed to be like very it's supposed to be like very intense and stuff not in the plot of it but just in the feelings and the emotions of it so i'm very excited it's one of the most popular books of 2022 and yeah let's see how this goes i am right now going to get ready to go to the bookshop i'm actually going with my sister because she also has some work at her office which is just about like 10 minutes from the bookshop so we were like let's just pile it on together and save money on petrol because petrol is expensive right now i'm gonna take the book with me so that i can read as my sister gets some work done she, it will take her like about half to one hour over there so yeah i can knock in like about 50 pages at least that is the update so let the book shopping montage begin <laughs> not expect yesterday to be so hectic and just like so long came back home like at about 5 I was expecting to be home at about 3 30 so it took like way longer than I expected and to top everything off it was just so hot outside like my head has started hurting from yesterday and it's still hurting like my head is it is hammering in there we have a lot of books over here I actually did not buy a lot of books yesterday at the bookshop most of these are just the books I picked up for the socials. So I'm going to show you the books that I bought as well as I have something exciting over here from a friend. So it's also like a bookish thing. So I thought of showing that to you. I have two book mails to show you guys. We have one unopened. So we're going to open it on camera. First up, let's start off with the books I got at the bookshop. I just picked up three books. Two of them I picked up for my sister because she was with me and she was interested in these. So I was like, I'll get them for you because 
yeah she's my older sister she always pays for everything when we go out so i was like i'll do this charity for you the first thing i picked up for her is the Cortes and the mahatma and the italian brahmin by manu s pillai she's very much into this like indian folk tales mythological type of uh, situation this is just i think so a collection of essays about indian culture indian history in indian folk tales i don't know if i'm gonna ever pick it up from her shelf but yeah i got it for her and then the second book i picked up for her is my hanuman chalisa by devdutt patnaik she has read like two of his books before and she really likes him and this is just like a debriefing of hanuman chalisa and just like the explanation of all of it so yeah I picked up only one book at the bookshop which is The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. This is a thriller mystery and I've been wanting to read this for a long time but I just never really pulled the plug on buying it. I'm just going to read out the back blur because the plot of it sounds very interesting. It says, one house, two families, three bodies. In a large house in London's fashionable Chelsea, a baby is awake in her cot well fed and cared for she is waiting for someone to pick her up in the kitchen lie three corpses close to them is a hastily scrawled note they've been dead for several days who has been looking after the baby and where did they go I've heard great things about this one i've also heard that the plot twist in this one is crazy and it's like completely unexpected so i'm really excited about it just look at the cover like the gold detail is so pretty and the spine the spine is completely like gold foil it is so pretty that is the only book i picked up at the bookshop then we have two books first up i already opened this one because i received it like about a week and a half ago and this is the arc the proof copy for none of this is true by lisa jewel just look at this it has pink sprayed edges and over here it says this is going to be out in july 2023 so i'm very excited to have gotten my hands on this advanced copy like this book is not out in the world yet and i have it in my hands to read for my liking and the plot of it sounds very interesting this is about a podcaster and she gets like she gets involved with a woman i don't know like if, if there is any like liking over there or something but she gets she starts to interview this woman and then she realizes like like something sketchy is going on over here i did a very bad job of like explaining the plot right now i'll talk more about it in my haul when i haul this like officially or when i read it i'm planning to read it very soon because i'm very excited about this thank you so much to century books from the uk for sending this to me and we also have another package from century books so let's open it up wait a minute i have to call Hanjal and message her Hanjal is sleeping right now, so I'm gonna open it for myself and for you guys. So, yes, this is pretty. Ooh, I love it, I love it, I love it. This is the new paperback of The Family Remains by Lisa Joel. This is the sequel to this book. I've heard great things about both of the books, so I'm very, very, very excited. Ooh, yeah, they look so, like, completely different, honestly. Completely different. This is like shiny and gold and this is like matte and just like sleek and just like like i just want to touch this book a lot <laughs> i don't know what that sounds like but yeah i'm very excited about this i went from having no lisa jewel books to having three lisa jewel books and one of them being an arc and let's open up this package small little package i recently sent a book to one of my bookstagram friend and then she re returned the favor which she did not have to by sending me this thing and I did not know she was gonna send me and then I was like who the fuck would send me this and I was like oh yeah makes sense so this one was sent to me by Swati her handle is misfit underscore reader underscore I'll put it up over here it's a mug which says fuck off I am reading which sounds just like the perfect mug for me this is a phrase which I've said multiple multiple times and now it is in a mug form like I just have to show this like yeah just fuck off I'm reading I don't think so I'm gonna use this as my mug I'm just gonna put it on my shelf and just display it because it's like a thing like fuck off I'm reading that is the book haul I have it's a small one I just have three books over here and these two are for my sister and yeah I'll see you guys in like a little bit I have to clean everything up and then we'll get on with the reading okay so time for the reading update i just read about like one and a half page yesterday in the car because it was just boiling hot 
and I couldn't have focused on the book. My goal today is to just stay up all night and finish this book. I'm gonna put my phone away in my closet over here and I'm gonna focus on reading. I need to finish this book today because if I don't finish this book, I cannot pick up another book and it's just gonna be bad. So it is about 5 p.m. and I got like about 20 pages of the book done so far and then I spent like half an hour filming the Wes Anderson reels which are going on right now. So I'm gonna edit that and post that tonight itself. Yeah. It is again the next day, it is Thursday. So what was supposed to be like a day long vlog has turned into a three day vlog. But since the last time I spoke to you guys, I made a pretty long leap in tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I'm currently on page 135. Also yeah, the background noise is I am watching this train thingy just like as a background type of just like a background noise for my reading and i really love this aesthetic like it just feels like i'm on a train which i'm dying to be and i'm gonna be on the train in like about three and a half weeks so i'm very 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 excited about that yeah but let's talk about the book because i now have thoughts i am just wearing like the most comfortable clothes that i own so don't mind me over the last like 30 40 pages i really really just like you get to spend a lot of time with the characters and so that's why i am now attached to the characters and i really really am excited to see where the story goes i have a little bit of idea where the story is going to go the story is a little bit predictable in that sense but that does not take away from the reading experience at all i literally like about 20 pages ago i was like let's like you know what fucking switch your point of view and just look at the positives in this book it is entertaining it is interesting the characters are nice it's well written it's like easy flowing and stuff so i decided to focus on that aspect and i immediately started to enjoy the book a lot more i'm currently on part three unfair games and uh, page 135 they have made the game sam and sadie have made the game now and they are looking to selling it and that part of their life is going to start and um, i have a pretty good feeling that dove sadie's boyfriend he's going to be like the villain of the story i already don't like him he is just pathetic not pathetic per se but i just don't like it he's very toxic and stuff and I kind of feel bad for Sadie because like she is kind of confused and lost and she does not know who she is type of situation. But at points I also don't like how she's behaving. Like she's doing things which I would not ever do in my life. All of these characters, they are not perfect in any sense. All of them have their flaws. The only one I like so far is Marx because he just seems like a stand up and genuinely caring guy. And the way he is with sam the way he is with sadie it's all very nice i don't know i i don't know what's gonna happen with him in the future but i'm just praying right now like he does not fuck up like there needs to be one character like you can root for in a book for me at least for like if there's not a single character i can root for i just don't get attached to the book you know so I hope Sam is that so not Sam I hope Marx is that character in this book I don't think I'm going to be vlogging a lot throughout the day because I want to focus on the reading of this book I'll see you once the book is done and then we can talk about the book let us not keep blabbering about what day it is now but let me just talk about this book because i finally finished it i finished it last night at about like 10 30 ish but it was like very like dark and i just did not like the lighting so i did not film anything yesterday but i did write my thoughts down in my notes app so i'm gonna talk about this so first off i just want to sidetrack and talk about my reading slump experience with this book i started it like four different times and so i feel like it was very natural for me to be a little bit like resentful or just like a little like we did not start off on good terms is basically what i'm trying to say but when i finally crossed like the page 60 or 70 mark i told you guys like i finally just like flipped the switch and told myself like let's like stop it just focus on the good of the book and when i did that there was actually a lot of good in this book i want to start off this review by saying if you're looking for a plot based book if you're looking for a book where there is a lot of plot and it's moving fast it goes up and down this book is not for you it is more so like a character based book there is still a lot of plot over here but after a point it just takes like a little it just goes on the back burner and we focus on the character development and the character 
character centricity of it becomes a lot more apparent. We follow Sam and Sadie from when they're young to all the way when they're in their 30s. Now I must say Sam and Sadie are not flawless. They are not, I did not even find them likable. Like there were a lot of stupid things both of them were doing. So I did not like root for any main character, honestly, I wanna say. And that also was a reason for me why it took so long to get into the book because I need characters which I can root for. And at about page 60, 70, you meet Marx, who was, who's my favorite character in this book. And I started rooting for him because he just genuinely seemed like a good person. And I just wanted him to not fuck up. That was like my only thing. There are, as I said, heavily involved side characters. Marx is one of them and Dov, Sadie's ex-boyfriend is also one of them. Dov, I hated him in the beginning and towards the end I was like, yeah, I feel nothing. I feel indifferent about you. So that is how I ended up feeling about him. Like he was a side character and he remained a side character. Like he did his thing. He served his, he served the plot for what he wanted to serve and then he stayed on the sidelines is a little bit predictable like you don't expect like about two-thirds of the way through the book you take a detour from the story which you predicted but you end up coming to the same destination which you had already predicted if you get what i mean so in terms of that like the story is nothing like too ingenious or something but even then reading this is a good experience chapter seven chapter seven the npc is where i stopped lacking the book is where I stopped liking the story. It's not the book's fault. It's, it's not Gabrielle's fault. It's not the story's fault. It is only because I was so invested in the book. I was so invested in the character. I wanted some characters to win so much. And the story took a turn, which I did not like at all. Like, I have a clip of me. I literally broke down because I just could not take it. I just could not take it. I broke down. You're watching it right now. It was bad. It was bad. I had so much hope and all of that hope was just smashed and squashed and just like it was completely squeezed to death. And after that, I was just like, I was so heartbroken after that chapter because I genuinely did not expect that. I did not see that coming. So the plot twist of the story worked in that sense. Despite all of that heartbreak and just all of that unnecessary heartbreak, this book was well done. I really liked reading this. It did take me a while to get into it, but after I got into it, it was definitely a wonderful time to finish this book. But there is one thing which has prevented this book from being a complete total five stars which is the length of the book and i feel like everybody who has read this can agree with the book was too long for the story i feel like it is 401 pages long exactly i i feel like it could have been wrapped in about 330 pages so like there was the story dragged on a little bit and i can and I can also see it makes sense for the plot of the book and what the book was trying to do, what the story was trying to be, but it just felt a little bit dragged on. There was an entire chapter, chapter nine, Pioneers. It was not that interesting, honestly. Like I see what Gabriel did there and I applaud it for what it was, but if it was shorter, it would have had just like a bigger impact on it. So yeah. Also, one thing which I woke up this morning feeling is that Gabriel was kind of partial to Sadie in this book. We get POVs from both the characters, Sadie and Sam. But what I feel like is Gabriel was just trying to put Sadie in a better light than she actually was. Like, I, I get it. Sam also did some stupid stuff, but Sadie also did a lot of stupid stupid stuff and we did not get the point of view of sam we did not get a chance to empathize with sam during that that's it like that's the only thing i have not settled on a final rating you know what probably my grievances with the characters and stuff like that as for the story i feel like this will i feel like this will be a 4.5 stars only for the fact that the ending dragged on a little bit if the ending was shorter if the, the story was a bit short this had the potential to be like a five out of five stars it is what it is and so 4.5 stars it is so with that what was supposed to be a one day vlog has finally ended after four days and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it if you're watching until this point i just want to say i love you 
do all the things i cannot force you to like comment subscribe but it would make my day if you did and if you're watching this i know you're a lawyer so i want to say that the bookshelf tour will come next saturday like a week from when i'm posting this video because there is one shelf on my older shelf system which i'm not really happy with so i just have to spend a lot of time trying to organize it in a way that is going to make me happy and i'll see you soon bye